Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. Under the patronage of the governor of the southern region, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the ASEAN Bahrain Council held the closing ceremony of the first session of the Holy Quran Award. The ceremony organized in cooperation with the Southern Governorate was held at the Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mosque in Awali. Upon arrival, the Southern Governor was welcomed by the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the ASEAN Bahrain Council, Sheikh Daesh bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali stressed the Southern Governorate's keenness to cooperate with civil and social organizations to adopt initiatives and activities aimed at spreading good and encouraging the spirit of competition among members of the society. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa said that holding the ASEAN Bahrain Council's Holy Quran Award is part of the Southern Governorate's interest in encouraging the memorization of the Holy Quran, adding that the competition stimulates youngsters to learn the Holy Quran and the Prophet's Sunnah. The governor lauded the effective participation in the award and the high-level performance of the contestants, commending the efforts exerted by the organizers to ensure the success of the event. The southern governor honored the first three winners who came from Indonesia, Philippines and Thailand respectively, as well as the sponsors, jury and organizers. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa was presented with a commemorative shield by the ASEAN Bahrain Council Board Chairman in recognition of his support for the programs and events held across the Southern Governorate. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain warns all citizens not to travel to Iran and Iraq due to the unstable situation in the region and the recent escalations and threats against security and stability. The Ministry stresses the need to take utmost precautions and care. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs further calls upon all the citizens present in Iraq and Iran to leave immediately for their safety and security. For assistance, the Ministry has placed the following contact numbers for the citizens. In line with the previously announced implementation phases, the Chief Executive of the Information and E-Government Authority, Mr. Mohammed Ali Al-Qaid, announced the issuance of the new CPR card to all Bahrainis. After the success of the first phase of the project, which was limited to Bahraini newborns, the second phase included an issuance for a large number of Bahraini citizens through electronic applications and the Muharraq and Isa town branches to ensure the readiness of the procedures using all types of printers in all branches without disrupting the daily issuance of the card. On this occasion, Al-Qaid stressed that the measures adopted by the authority are in line with the directives and support of the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al-Khalifa to develop procedures aimed at facilitating the services provided to the citizens and providing them with high quality and efficiency and in accordance with international standards. He explained that the process of implementation of the third phase came after the completion of technical arrangements, the modernization of the relevant systems such as printing management system and the central system 
of the population registry as well as the system of updating the card and the creation of a CPR card reader and printing devices.